Hello, everybody, and thank you, thank you, thank you for all the awesome support I've gotten. Um, I've nev I never expected it to blow up this much because I just kind of started and wanted to make funny videos or put something positive out there. Uh, even if it's just me getting upset, uh, I just wanted to make somebody happy a little bit, you know, uh, and it's been amazing, like, just watching the channel grow in the past few months, because, I mean, just before January, I had maybe 10 subscribers, and I've gone from, like, 10 to 550, and, I mean, it's, I've gotten 50 subscribers since the, uh, announcement for this video, so just thank you all so much, and I'm going to be doing plenty more specials and giveaways and plenty other things, uh, along with some announcements at the end of this video. But first, let's get to what you came here for, the Q&A. All right, first up, we got a question from JK Tiger. It says, what was the very first game I ever played? Uh, this uh, put my age out there a little bit, because, God, I'm feeling it. Uh, my very first video game was Pokemon Red, on the Game Boy Entertainment System. Not the Game Boy Color, not the Game Boy Pocket, the Game Boy Entertainment System. I uh, played Red in black and white and loved it. And from there, uh, my cousin, who wanted to introduce me into other games like Final Fantasy and stuff, which I play a lot of now, uh, really wanted me to try getting into bigger RPGs since I was such a fan of Pokemon. And that's when he uh, got me a game. I'm going to put that... Uh, put it right here, right there. That's Guardian's Crusade. That was the very first uh, RPG I ever played other than the Pokemon universe. Uh, and it was a blast. I loved it. I loved the storyline. I loved, it was like reading a book, but in a video game form. And it was really fun, really immersive. And from there, I've played stuff like Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, all the Final Fantasies, Dragon Quest, uh, more Pokemon. Like, I've played so much just from that one experience. And it all started with Pokemon Red, the, the first Pokemon game, Pokemon Red. That's oh, incredible, just looking back on that. Uh, all right, the next question. Uh, Nissan, Nissan Grimm, I probably mispronounced that, I'm sorry, man. Uh, will I be doing any playthroughs of stuff like Pokemon or fan-voted Monster Hunt? I think you meant to say Monster Hunter. Um, I always am open to play games that you guys want to see me play, like... Always. I, I used to, at the end of every video, put, uh, if you have any game suggestions, leave them down below. But I got rid of that because nobody was ever suggesting anything. So I was always like, well, I'll just play whatever and see if they enjoy it. Uh, I can't always promise it'll turn into a series, but if I really like it, yeah, I'll play a full game. Uh, Pokemon, I really want to do some Let's Plays of. I really want to do some Let's Plays of Pokemon, but I don't have the proper equipment to record my DS. Otherwise, I'd already have, like, all of Sun, all of Ultra Sun, all of Omega Ruby, all of X, Y, uh, Red, Blue, Yellow, Gold, Silver, Crystal, you name it. Like, I love Pokemon, and I love, uh, and I love giving you guys what you want to see, the videos you want to see. And, I mean, if it isn't obvious I love Pokemon from how this channel's sort of transitioning, then, yeah, I mean, and that, that'll come with the announcements later. Uh, next we have from Cody Collins, which, by the way, everybody... This is Symbiote saying from Drinking Games, don't let his uh, Cody Collins BS fool you. Of course, he's got a controversial topic because he wants to see me squirm and possibly lose a few subs. So, sorry if you guys don't like this question or my answer. What, in my opinion, is the most overrated game series of all time and why? I can feel my sub count dropping as I say this. I think Call of Duty is the most overrated game of all time. I have never been impressed with Call of Duty. It has literally just been a bland run and shoot game since if since I've seen it in Modern Warfare. Like I got a buddy named Sean who's going to be like you son of a, like he's going to be all up on me but I have not been impressed by Call of Duty ever. It has never impressed me. I I've been more impressed by stuff like Battlefield where I feel like I'm actually in a war than I am with Call of Duty, where it's literally just running around a circles at a map and shooting people. Like, 
it's not fun. It's not entertaining. It's just dumb. I don't like Call of Duty. I think it's highly overrated, and I think way too many people play it. So, there we go. <laughs> God damn it. Cody, you son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. Next we got one from Azure Visor. When are we going to make that mayonnaise sandwich, Red? No. Next question. Legendary Chomper. Are you readiness for the famousness? The readiestness. You know I'm readiness for this famousness. And I'm going to be all over that ness. Just watch me. I got dreams, baby. All right. Next we got, why did you want to start YouTube? Come on. You knew that question was coming. I knew it was coming. And I was hoping for that question. So I started because I, it was actually kind of funny. I was talking to my wife about it. I started because I really wanted to show her all these games I really liked as a kid. And she was always like, yeah, but I mean, I'm just not into that kind of stuff. And I'm like, well, I got to show it to somebody. I'm excited about this. Like uh, when Sun and Moon came out, I wanted to show her the old Pokemon games. But she started with, she started with Ruby and Sapphire. So those games, are no, she's too good for those games. But I, uh, I wanted to show people games and like me playing them and having fun and I get excited about like, oh, this game's really cool. You should check this out. Like uh, originally I wanted to do reviews, but then uh, it all started with a channel you some of you probably watched called Markiplier. I uh, this is going to Mark. I love you, but I was a big Markiplier hater at first. Yeah, like uh when I first started, before I first started YouTube, uh, I watched very few Let's Plays. I didn't like Let's Plays. And I didn't like some YouTubers because I felt like they were in it for the attention and they weren't really there to... They were celebrities, you know? They wanted to make money, get a check, yada yada, do what this person says and go have a nice day. They were fake. I thought they were all fake. And I thought Mark was the really fake. Like, I thought for sure if I were to meet him in real life, he'd probably spit on me. And he probably still would, honestly. Now that I've said it on camera, he probably will. If I ever meet him. Doubt it. But, that the point is, he changed my mind. He made me realize that there's some good out there. And that I was bringing negativity to... I was bringing negativity. I wasn't bringing positivity. Which is not what I'm about. And, uh... This will go. This is also. I'll give you one of the announcements early. On a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be doing a draw my life special, which will go in towards more about uh, why I had this mindset. But I have a very hard time trusting people and like believing things when I see them, because in my experience, if it looks too good to be true, it's not. I feel that Markiplier is one of the most genuine YouTubers out there, and he inspired me to do what I love and bring it to you guys, which is what I wanted more than anything. I wanted to get myself out there. Um, some of you may not know, I have horrible social anxiety. It's different when I'm like sitting here, like talking to a camera, but I, I generally don't like talking to people because I feel awkward. I feel like I'm gonna say something stupid and somebody's gonna judge me. And more likely not they will, or I, or they would. and. Uh, I've been combating that really hard. Uh, my wife has helped a lot with that, uh, especially from going to these cons, these conventions. She, uh, by the way, we are going to be at CosplayCon. Be there. If you are within Central USA, you can go to Missouri CosplayCon. Be there. We will be there. We will be selling these cute little Onigiri plushes I showed last time and a few Nancat plushes or Nancat or Monster, the, the cat from Monster Hunter. I don't want to say the name because... I'll probably get some kind of copyright claim or something should I ever get monetized. Uh, so they're not, they're they're based off of it, but they aren't it. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, they, yeah, we're going to have those. We're going to have cool stuff. Come check it out. Uh, yeah. We, uh, Mark really helped me start this and start what I'm doing. Uh, as you all know, Monster Battle is one of the big reasons most of you are here. And that was a spur of the moment idea. I've gotten a lot of negative feedback for it. I've also gotten a lot of positive feedback. 
Uh, that was mainly inspired by Screw Attack and their death battle thing. And I just had an idea that nobody else had done. I was like, I'll do it. Nobody else is doing it. Why don't I do it? I have a YouTube channel. Why not? I didn't expect all it to it explode like it has. Which, by the way, this weekend, look out for the next monster battle. Uh, probably going to be the day after this video airs. So look, up, look forward to that. And if it's not, it'll be the next week after. Uh, it's all done. It's just got to be scripted, edited, or it's got to be voiced, edited, and posted. And that takes a while. So those are the questions. Next, what we're going to do is the lotto. I have put everybody's name into a random name generator, and we're going to pull that up right now. All right, everybody, here it is, the random name generator. So here you can see I've got all of everybody's names, JK Tiger, Grem, Nissan Grem. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. I'm very good at that. Just ask anybody who's watched my Monster Battle videos. Uh, Cody Collins, otherwise known as Symbiote Saiyan, Zuravisor, Legendary Chomper, and Judith George. Um, pretty sure I'm not missing anybody, but let's double check real quick. Tiger, Nissan, Cody, Mike Kelly didn't want to enter it, Azura, Chomper, and Judith. All right, so we're gonna pick a random name, and then I'm gonna, then you're gonna be the winner of our Onigiri or uh, Cat Plush. I, it's it's off day line from Monster Hunter, but I can't call it that officially because it's uh, legal issues. You know, I'm not. I can't. You, you get the idea. But uh, before I do this, I want to say thank you to everybody who participated. This was really fun, and I'm as excited as you are. So let's do it. Let's pick a random name, and the winner is. Judith George. Judith George, you are the winner of the drawing. So all you got to do is message me on either the Facebook page, Red Leon, which I'll leave a link somewhere on the video. I'm sure you'll see it. Uh, or PM me on YouTube. Or you can even email me on the email I have on my contact. So there you go, Judith. Or George, whichever name you have. So, so there you have it. There's the winner. Uh, Judith George has been a, oh, he's been a subscriber for a long time. So it's really cool. Congratulations. Uh, it means a lot that I have subscribers that have been around this long. But now for the closing announcements. So some of you may have noticed that I've been doing a lot of Pokemon TCG uh, videos. Well, there's actually a big announcement about that. Uh, once we reach a thousand subscribers, there will be a teaser tape trailer with the future of this channel. Uh, and all I can all I can really tell you uh, is get ready for the best of both worlds. Uh, other than that, I have an announcement that at a thousand subscribers, I may have already brought this up. At a thousand subscribers, I will be doing a draw my life special which I will tell you about my past and why I do what I do. Um, and at 750 subscribers, we're going to do another Q&A. So look forward to that. And Monster Battle should be out relatively soon to those of you who don't care about any of this and just want to see Monster Battle. So once again, thank you so much for subscribing and being a part of this channel. I'm Red Leon. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hey there, thanks for watching this video. If you liked the video, go ahead and smack the crap out of that subscribe button and leave a like if you like. As well, feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or check out my wacky antics on Instagram. Also, I've started making music, so if you want to check out some music and kick back to some cool tunes, feel free to check out the link below. Thanks again, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!